Yo, what's up guys? Surgical Golden here. Welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best three decks to push in Clash Royale. I'm currently five wins away from League 8, so let's see if we can get to League 8 in today's video using three different decks. First deck we're going to play is this Mortar Bait, kind of a quick cycle minor deck. See you guys soon with game number one. Okay, let's go guys. Hoping into game number one. So what I like about this deck is that it's very versatile. I feel like you have many different ways to pressure. Most important one is most of the times the Mortar, but also many other games you can get a lot of damage with a Miner tanking for some uh, yeah, Spam Troop, maybe sometimes Skeleton King ability. You really have yeah, many different ways to force out spells, to force out um, Elixir, and then most of the times you're able to kind of punish them after that. So we do also have the Cannon Card. If you guys watched my video yesterday, Cannon Card did get buffed in the recent banner changes, and in my opinion right now it's really strong. I actually like using it a lot. And it's really um, yeah, versatile as well, mainly on defense, but then after, sometimes on offense, it's really, really strong as well. Okay, looks like this guy might have a um, Royal Giant deck, which is definitely not going to be an easy one, because if it's the version I think he's running, he's probably going to have um, Fireball, he has Barbell, he has Skeleton King, Wizard. Definitely not an easy matchup here, but we should be fine as well. And he has Void Spell instead of Fireball, so that's going to help us a lot. And this is exactly the situation where we're going to see if he uses a spell, um, and then in the meantime, the miner on the left side tanking for the Skeleton Dragons. There's just so many different ways to apply pressure with this deck. The Mother Witch in this case doesn't really do much because the Skeleton spawning from the Skeleton King. As you guys can see, whenever she uh, yeah, spawns a Royal Hawk, it's like a, a cloned Royal Hawk. It just yeah, dies in one shot with any troop, so it's really not that good. And then here we can go with Mortar. If he goes with Royal Giant, we have the Cannon Card. Looks like he doesn't, and he's running Normal Wizard. Okay. That's actually really interesting. I would say that normal wizard isn't the best option. I would um, yeah, only use wizard if it's the evolved one, but I guess he, he likes the deck the way it is. So not really sure what evolution he's gonna be running. If he doesn't have the evil wizard, he should have the um, evil royal giant because I think he's missing royal giant and I'm not sure what other card he's missing. But let's in the meantime, kill the pressure, as you guys can see, always able to pressure both lanes, in this case, left side. Um, yeah, applying a lot of pressure there. In the meantime, the Skeleton King here with the ability should also be able to apply a lot of pressure, get a lot of damage, look at the skeletons. And then realistically, the right side tower, we basically took it down without even getting a mortar shot, without even getting a mine on top of the tower. We basically took down the right side tower by only um, get, getting a lot of value from our Skeleton King. Let's in the meantime here go with Evil Skeletons. Let's go with the Cannon Card, Evil Mortar on the left side. And this should pretty much be good game already. Evil Skeletons are getting a lot of value. Cannon Card helping out as well. In the meantime, let's go with the Skeleton King. Let's go with Ability here. And I'm going to Miner as soon as possible on top of the Mother Witch. I can, I can even Arrows if necessary. I guess I'm just going to Arrows to kill the Mother Witch as soon as possible. Kill the Fisherman, as you guys can see. Way too many spam cards, way too much pressure. And that's what I like about this deck. And the opponent had Arrows, he had Mother Witch, he had Wizard. It's not like he had nothing against the spamming cards. It's just way too much to deal with. Okay, let's go guys, hoping to get to game number two. By the way, always with these type of format, with these type of videos, where I play with three different decks, I always play two matches with each deck. So I'm gonna play one more match with this Mortar Miner deck, and then afterwards we're gonna switch to the second deck, etc, etc. Okay, let's go with Skeletons here at the bridge. He is running Cannon here, which in some situations is very good for us, because against Skeletons, against, uh, yes, spamming cards in general, it's not great. So maybe Goblin Gang, maybe Skeleton King ability. Evil Skeletons can get a lot of value against the... Um, the cannon here. So let's go with Goblin Gang against his Goblin Gang. Looks like it's gonna be Lockbait. He already showed Princess, Goblin Barrel. It yeah, has to be Lockbait here. And I guess we can just go with Mortar. I feel like Mortar in most of those situations is really good against Bait. It's actually a perfect Mortar because it's gonna splash on top of everything, as you guys can see right there. Okay, I would like to go Skeletons like this because then the Bennett is gonna make it go outside of the range and maybe the Mortar can get one shot on the tower. Let's see. There you go. Gets one shot on the tower. Even though we take one shot of the Bennett, I think it's still worth it. And I'm going to have the Goblin Gang ready in case he goes with, um, with the Goblin Barrel. Okay, so Lockbait, I would say, is a matchup where you just need to play kind of patient. Try to get a lot of value from your troops. Try to get a lot of value from the Mortar. Because the Mortar, most of the times, is a building very annoying for them. Either on defense or on offense. It looks like he does have the Rocket. Okay, I was thinking that it was going to be the version without the Rocket. But it looks like he does have the Rocket. So that's kind of unfortunate. We did give him yeah, a good Rocket there. But I guess it's fine. Anyways, he's also using the Cannoneer. So that means that he does not have... Um, yeah, as much HP as we have from the start of the game. And oh, this is a big mistake, my friend. You don't have Prince in Cycle. You don't have Block in Cycle. You have nothing against an ability plus Skeletons right here. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be able to defend this. We can even go Miner to yeah, help the Skeletons, help get everything there. But I would say that this is probably going to be um, Tower down. I don't even know what's happening right now. Evil Skeletons are actually on the King Tower. In the meantime, the left side tower is also taking a lot of damage. What is happening? Is this going to be a 3 crown? I think it might be a 3 crown, guys. Let's go with Arrows to take care of everything. In the meantime, the evil skeletons are still alive, and I think this... Okay, it's gonna be a 3-count, so yeah, as you guys can see there, 
Very nice in ECW, as soon as he um, did not have the princess and he did not have the lock and cycle or arrows, I don't really remember what he threw, I was like, okay, I can just go with Skeleton King, it was Skeletons, you're not able to defend it, and we end up three counting him. Okay guys, second deck we're gonna run in today's video is this lock bait, really quick cycle, 2.6, I'm gonna be using it with the Cannoneer, if you guys prefer, for example, the Princess Tower, you can of course use it with the Princess Tower, but in my opinion, Cannoneer in these type of decks where you do not have um, a building, is actually very nice to have. So let's start off with giving the good luck, let's go with Wallbreakers right away, and these type of decks are very important to keep out the pressure, play very aggressive in single elixir, and just in general overall in the match, I would say that most of the times, you're gonna be the one, yeah, trying to get a lot of pressure and value going. Okay, let's ignore the 1 million, I guess it's fine, we can in the meantime go with the Ice Spirit plus Goblin Barrel here, very nice Ice Spirit, jumping on top of all the Goblins, and freezing the tower, um, yeah, as well. And then here in the meantime, I guess we can just cycle maybe a Goblin Gang, or should we just let this be? Okay, I think I'm just gonna let this be, cycle Dark Goblin here in the back, the Goblin is gonna get one shot, but I guess it's fine. And not really sure what he's using right here, he has Goblin Gang, Minions, Witch, and, uh, and Arrows. It's gonna be a P.E.K.K.A deck, okay. P.E.K.K.A, I would say is a decent matchup for us, as long as we're able to distract the P.E.K.K.A, like we can go with Valkyrie here, and then we can go with Goblin Gang um, to try and distract the P.E.K.K.A, or at least DPS it down. Unfortunately, we were not able to distract it, but still very good situation, and I'm gonna go with Golden Barrel here as soon as possible. He should use the arrows on the left side as soon as he can, or does he not have Elixir? Okay, looks like he does not have Elixir, or he did have Elixir, but he instead decided to, yeah, defend the Princess, and then let the Goblin Barrel be. Okay, so I would say really good situation, very good start, lots of damage dealt to the left side, and we didn't even cycle the evolution yet. I would say that most of the times, where you get most of the damage with this lockbait deck is whenever you have the Evo um, get Goblin Barrel available. Okay, looks like he has Elite Barbarian, so definitely some kind of mid later deck right here. I've, I'm afraid of like Arrows Prediction, so I'm just gonna go with a Valkyrie instead of going with Goblin Gang in the middle. And then here we also pull, um, get yeah, the troops towards the middle where both Cannoneers end up helping out killing those Elite Barbarians. Okay, so what are you gonna do next, my friend? Is he just gonna make... I would say that he's just gonna make, like, another big push from behind, like Witch, um, Pekka, exactly, Pekka there. So I'm gonna force out some Elixir here on the right side just by going Princess. I could've also went with it in the left side, but I feel like he would just ignore it, and then afterwards he would just make an, yeah, even bigger push. So what I'm gonna do is go Goblin Barrel, the normal Goblin Barrel towards the right side. I'm gonna go with Wallbreakers here as well. He's most likely gonna spell the left side. Oh, looks like he actually ignores it. Okay. Let's go with the Ice Spirit in the meantime. Let's go with the Log. And I think that should already be able to DPS on the P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, quite quickly. Let's go with Valkyrie here to kill those Goblins. And I'm gonna go with Wallbreaks as well. So, very good situation. I would say that the right side might even go down. Let's go in the, in the meantime, go with the Golden Barrel Pass Ice Spirit to his left side. Right side is indeed gonna go down. And I think the left side tower should also take a lot of damage. Not, um, not enough to take down the tower, but still very good situation right now. Okay, 761 HP left on the uh, left side tower. Let's go with the Princess here to clean up those minions. And I'm just gonna keep the pressure. Valkyrie Goblin Gang, I'm gonna go with Wallbreakers as well. Only 15 seconds left, so at this point, if we just force him to defend the left side tower, we should um, yeah, pretty much have the victory secured right here. Only 10 seconds left, there's no way he can take the tower. Let's go with a Golden Barrel, let's go with Ice Spirit. And I think in the worst case scenario, we could even um, get defend this situation. Like Goblin Gang in the middle, Valkyrie, and the left side tower was already down to 171 HP, so very nice W there against the mid ladder player. See you guys soon with the next match. Okay, let's go guys, hoping into the next match, we're actually two wins away. From getting to League 8, so let's see if we can get the W here in the next match as well. Um, let's start off with Goblin Barrel right away. I think it's always nice to, to start cycling your evolutions. And looks like this guy is running arrows. Okay. So, I think we can just go with Princess. Especially with Cannoneer. I feel like most of the times, whatever troop they drop against the Princess. In this case, a Prince. We can defend it kind of easily. With the Cannoneer, we can just go with the Ice Spirit. And then last second go here with uh, yeah, Goblin Gang in the middle to distract the Prince. And that's going to defend it yeah, really easy. Okay, let's go with wall breakers and as you guys can see we already cycle goblin barrel you have such a quick cycle with this deck you can apply a lot of pressure and cycle towards your evolutions as soon as possible okay so prince um arrows i would say that it's gonna be like a goblin giant or giant deck from what i'm seeing right now not completely sure of course but it's definitely yeah, giving me the vibes of like a goblin giant double prince deck okay looks like he spends arrows he does the boomer cycle he does the dark princess cycle i think this is a great play to go with the Goblin Gang at the bridge here, he does go with the Prince, but it's still gonna get a little bit of value, a little bit of damage on top of the Prince, and then afterwards we should be able to defend it, I think with two Cannoneer shots. I am gonna go Wallbreakers just in case, because I think the Cannoneer, yeah, the Cannoneer was definitely not able to kill it right away, and the Wallbreakers here, if he um, ignores them, both of them are gonna connect, which in this case, also quite a lot of damage on the right side tower. Okay, I would say good start so far, definitely a lot of damage dealt on both towers, we didn't really take any damage ourselves. 
And then looks like he does go with a bomber. Let's go with a princess here just to be annoying. I feel like princess at the bridge is definitely yeah, one of those plays which is just so annoying. Most of the times you're going to force out a lot of elixir. And then most of the times you're also going to get um, some type of damage out of it. Okay, let's go with a normal Goblin Barrel towards the left side. Let's then go with an Ice Spirit on the um, side of the Fake Barrel or the yeah the Decoy Barrel. And then go with Evil Wallbreakers here. Or not Evil Wallbreakers, excuse me, uh, Wallbreakers Split. We have the normal Wallbreakers. Okay, nice. That's a good connection on the left side. Both towers are getting a lot of, um, are taking a lot of damage right now. Okay, Valkyrie here last second to start cycling towards the Evil Valkyrie. We can go with a Princess here. And I think we can also go with a Golden Barrel. As soon as possible, just to be annoying, just to force out the Nyx. And as you guys can see, he's not really able to make a push. Like, he does have a, a beatdown deck, kind of a beatdown deck. We do need to be careful with arrows, which he might go with soon. Let's see if he does. Looks like he doesn't. Let's go with Warbreakers just to make sure that the Prince is not able to connect. Let's go with the Loki in the meantime. Let's go with the Princess. And we cycle to the Evil Valkyrie, which is going to help out a lot. Um, let's see. I think the Evil Valkyrie should be able to exactly pull back the Giant. That's perfect. Let's go with the Golden Barrel. Let's go with the Ice Spirit. And let's go with wall breakers and we just have infinite pressure infinite spam kind of the same um yeah play style as with the the first deck with game number one and game number game number two excuse me we also played um yeah, a deck which just applies so much pressure which is just so hard to defend and it's the exact same case in this situation but with the goblin barrel kind of a different version quicker cycle and that should be a good game there's no way he can yeah, take the tower and we might even take no not don't take the left side tower but once again such a lot of damage dealt on both towers left side tower last match i think was 170 hp this time 184 hp okay guys so we made it to the last deck i'm gonna play two more matches with this royal giant deck we're one win away from getting to league eight so let's hop into the first match right away and it's gonna be this quick cycle royal giant deck in my opinion this royal giant deck is very solid in general i feel like if you play it well it has a lot of outplay potential you can beat beatdown decks you can beat um cycle decks you can even beat lava hunt decks stuff like that like i feel like in general it's just a yeah really solid deck and uh personally i'm also a big fan of royal giant Okay, looks like he does have Skeleton King, he has Skeletons, this could be a potential, I would say, Elixir Golem deck after seeing those uh, first two cards. Could also be the deck we just played in game number one, like a Mortar Spammy deck, I guess we'll find out later. Okay, let's go with a Void Spell here, looks like he does go with his um, ability, but the Void Spell is still able to hit the Wizard. We'll be able to kill it as well, so that's amazing. And then afterwards, I think I'm just gonna um, yeah, let this be, Ghost is gonna die, but I guess it's fine, and we can cycle Wizard to start cycling towards the the evolution wizard okay i think he also has void spell not sure if i should try to predict it um no i'm just gonna let this be to be honest he cycles the the rage i think i might go no i'm not gonna go royal giant i was about to say if he doesn't go void spell i think i might go with royal giant in front but looks like he does end up going with the void spell so let's just cycle a lock here and then i'm gonna try and cycle back maybe to um the evolution wizard and then try to get a push going with the with the royal giant okay looks like he does go with night witch he says wow not really sure why do need to be very careful, by the way, against this matchup because he does have a lot of different ways to um, yeah, apply pressure, to pressure us with the bets, with the skeletons, with the skeleton king ability. Like, this is definitely one of those matchups where you need to be very careful. Okay, he does go with arrows, he does go with void spell. I feel like he spent a lot of elixir there. I'm actually gonna go with Royal Giant at the bridge here. Let's see what he has against it, but I don't think he has the, um, the best answer. He did have the evil skeletons available. No, that's so unlucky. How did we not end up killing all of those skeletons? Please tell me that they end up dying now. No, oh my god. Did we just end up losing? I think we just ended up losing. Because the Void Spell here is not going to be able to deal with everything, right? No, there's no way. Oh, that's so unlucky. How did the Log not end up killing all those skeletons? Okay, I think we just ended up getting three crowned. Nah, there's no way. Okay, that's actually so sad. I'm going to um, have to win two matches to get to League 8. I guess it's fine. I guess we will just act like that was calculated. See you guys with the next match. Okay, guys, let's hop into the first match with the Royal Giant deck. Of course, it's not the, the first match. We just end up, unfortunately, losing to the next Golden player. I still can't believe that our, um, what's it called? Our look did not kill those skeletons. Like, there's no way. But I guess it's fine. It's all calculated, guys. Now that means that if we win two matches with the Royal Giant, we're going to finish the video um, yeah, getting to League 8. So, as I said, it's, it's, it's all calculated. Okay, let's go with a Royal Giant here towards the left side. He has Tesla and he has a Spark in no way. Okay, we need to be careful. I think I'm going to go Void Spell here as soon as the Spark is in range. Please tell me that you do not have something to block it. I want to go with a Lock as well just to make sure. Okay, unfortunately the Lock... No, there's no way. Okay. I don't know what to say right now. So far, both matches, we have been very unlucky with the Royal Giant deck. But I think we should be fine. Let's see, guys. Let's go with the E-Spirit here. Let's go with a Wizard. Um, let's go with skeletons here as well. I think we do need to, yeah, I was about to say, I think we do need to be careful on the right side tower, but luckily for us, the wizard also helped out a little bit. And this guy is BMing us. I don't know why he's BMing. I'm gonna go with evil wizard here, or evil royal giant. Even though the wizard is going in front, I think the royal giant here should be very annoying for him. 
Um, and then he does go with a Mega Knight. Okay. Mega Knight, Sparky. Tesla. I don't know what he's doing, honestly. Like, I think so far, kind of a strange deck for sure. Um, unfortunate start there. I, th I thought that we were able to kill the Sparky, but unfortunately it was 1 HP. But anyways, didn't really matter. We still managed to get a ton of damage on the left side tower down to 1,000. 925 HP, so I think if we yeah, keep it up like this, we still have a very good chance at winning right here. Okay, so he does have the Knight in Cycle. We should probably not go with the Ghost yet. I think I'm just gonna get yeah, wait a little bit. Maybe Cycle Ghost in the back instead of pressuring it um, at the bridge right away. And then we do out Cycle the Tesla. So should I go with a Royal Giant? No, I'm not gonna go Royal Giant. I'm instead gonna go with Void Spell here. I'm gonna go Void Spell kind of behind the Pekka or behind the Sparky, exactly with the intention of him going with something in front. Then the Void Spell still um, get able to fully charge on top of that. Okay, nice. Let's go with the E-Spirit. Let's go with Skeletons. Let's go... I think we can go with a Wizard here. Then I'm going to go Royal Giant, knowing that he has Bats, knowing that he has a Skeleton Army. I think this Wizard should be able to probably get some value right now. Okay, nice. He does go with the Mega Knight. In the meantime, the Royal Giant is able to get two shots on top of the tower. We do need to be careful, but I think we should be fine. Honestly, we have really good um, get answers against spammy cards. So here we can just go with the E-Spirit. We can go with a Void Spell here. We can go with Skeletons. Just in case needed, and then we can go with Lock here to kill all those skeletons from the skeleton army. And I would say that this is looking very good right now for us. Okay, nice. He's not too happy about it. I don't even know what deck he's running. Like, what a crazy deck from our opponent right here. Okay, let's go with a ghost. Let's go, I think, with a royal giant at the bridge here. We know that he doesn't really have many yeah, stuff to DPS us down. I think he might go with his bets sometime soon. There you go. There's the bets. Then he's probably going to go with Skeleton Army, but Skeleton Army anyways doesn't really make sense in that situation because we have the Evolved Royal Giant and we know that as soon as the Royal Giant hits, it's just going to instantly kill the Skeleton. So very nice W there. Kind of a strange start, but anyways, I will take that victory. And right now that means that we're one win away from getting to League 8. So I would say let's just hop into the um, yeah, hopefully last match right away. Okay, let's go guys. Hoping into hopefully the last match. If we win it, we do end up getting the um, yeah, goal of today's video, which was getting to League 8. And we actually face a really good player here. I don't know if you guys saw his profile, but he has like a top 20 finish. I thought it was in a global tournament. And he also has a um, yeah, pretty nice profile in general. Okay, he does have a cannon card. I think I'm going to go Void Spell here to try and take care of the cannon card. Hopefully with the help of the Ghost as well. He does go with his... Um... Okay, he does also have a Dagger Dash. Looks like the cannon card was able to kill that. And I think I'm just going to wait a little bit and see what he does. Okay, looks like he goes with Archers. So cannon card Archers could be a potential, um, I would say, maybe Mortar deck. Maybe Graveyard. Okay, looks like he has a, a better M. So I would say maybe Pekka. I honestly don't know. We do need to be careful if he has a Zap because sometimes people do end up zapping the, um, the Fisherman and then the better M because of the Zap ends up making it to the tower. Okay, so what is this? Is it Pekka? Is this like just a bridge pen deck? I honestly don't know. It's going to be interesting to see if he has a Pekka in there um, or what yeah, deck he's running. I'm very tempted to go with a Royal Giant here. I think it would have been... A little bit too aggressive, but whenever I see a fisherman like that next to the tower, um, yeah, as I said, I'm very tempted to try and go with the Royal Giant just at the bridge, and the fisherman pulls it next to his tower. Okay, I'm gonna go Royal Giant now in front of this, um, uh, the wizard, trying to get some value from the wizard. He does go with a scanning card, he does go with a Royal Giant, but the wizard is actually able to splash on top of the archers, not hitting the tower, but still able to kill the archers, and then afterwards is able to lock onto the um, left side tower for a good amount of damage right there. Okay, looking very good right now. I think the cannon card... Okay, we need to be careful. This is going to be um, a trick defense. Okay, let's go with E-Spirit. Let's then go with a Ghost here. Trying to make sure that the cannon card afterwards is focused. Let's go with Skeletons to try and distract the Mega Knight. Please tell me that the Fisherman... No, okay, that's unfortunate. We need to go with Void. I was hoping for our Ghost to hit the, the cannon card one more time. And then the cannon card would not have been able to, to get into the range of the tower. I would say still a pretty good defense. I would say um, that this overall situation is still really good for us. But definitely, yeah, kind of unlucky there with that one um, ghost hit, which we were missing for a perfect defense. Okay, let's go with the wizard here. Let's then go with the fisherman. We need to be careful for the, the void spell, which might come anytime soon. I guess we can just let it be. Anyways, it's a normal wizard. I would like to try and cycle to the to the evolved wizard. Okay, let's go with the e-spirit. Let's go with the um, evil wizard here on defense. Ghost is also going to help out a little bit. I'm going to go with Log. And then I'm going to go with another ghost this time directly on top of the... Um, the cannon card, nice, okay, looking really good. I'm actually gonna go Royal Giant here. Royal Giant is even gonna help kill the cannon card. We can go with a Void Spell on the second card he just used, and I think this is gonna be 
Um, yeah, able to get a good amount of damage. Royal Giant is able to get one shot. Wizard is able to this time splash on top of the tower. That's amazing. And then here we can prepare the lock if um, necessary. Looks like he does go with a Mega Knight. Let's go with a Fisherman here. We need to be careful, but I think I'm just gonna go Royal Giant here on offense, to be honest. We can go with Skeletons. We can go with the E Spirit as well. And we can go with a lock. And I think this Royal Giant should be able to get the, um, the hit we are missing. Please tell me the Royal Giant shoots. Give me that one shot we need, bro. Oh my god, let's go, Royal Giant. I knew that you were gonna do it. Let's give it a good game. Very well played to our opponent. He actually did a really good job there in the end, applying a lot of pressure with this um, yeah, Mega Knight. Better Ram deck, very nice video. Besides that one loss against the Elixir Golem, but hey, I think it, it, it happens to everyone. Um, I think everyone like yeah ends up losing sometimes to this type of Elixir Golem deck. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to smack the like button. If not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.